The Phantom Motor Car that turned heads in the streets was actually a remote controlled car guided by radio signals. After a century of dreaming, today we ask again, are we heading towards a future of driverless vehicles? What will this future of self-driving cars look like? The core question about self-driving cars is whether they can operate safely without human intervention. With self-driving cars, the driver becomes a passenger. The human driver goes from being essential to only occasionally needed to simply being present until they are no longer needed at all. Steering wheels and pedals will also disappear. Once an essential means of transportation, driving as an act of labor may no longer be necessary. Like robot vacuums that move and clean on their own, robot cars will drive themselves autonomously. Sensors take the place of the human eye, artificial intelligence functions as the brain, and remote controlled devices become the hands and feet. The car itself takes on the role of the human driver by observing, making judgments, and operating accordingly. As self-driving cars take the wheel, some people are especially eager to move to the back seat. These are people who dislike spending time behind the wheel. Without the chore of taking full control of the vehicle, people will be free to sleep, work, and rest. Those with driving anxiety also keenly await a hands-free future. We know that 80 to 90% of road accidents occur because of the driver's lack of caution. Therefore, many people hope to see roads freed from the problems caused by negligent human behavior, such as drunk or aggressive driving, hit and runs, and road range. Self-driving cars may also reduce traffic jams. Without bad lane changes, poor driving, and slow responses to traffic conditions, roads will be navigated with much greater efficiency. Companies operating trucking businesses also hope to see driverless cars hit the streets soon. Cutting the cost of labor and fuel will maximize economic profit. Lastly, self-driving cars can make travel more convenient for disabled people and senior citizens. People who have found it difficult to drive due to their physical conditions can make use of a vehicle that drives itself. But there are also less optimistic forecasts about the future of driverless cars, along with technical issues such as malfunctions in the control system or incorrect sensor recognition of the vehicle's surroundings. There is also the question of who is responsible for an accident. Is it the vehicle's owner, the passengers, or the manufacturer? Critics also express concerns about cybersecurity, the possible compromise of personal information and location data and the potential for drivers' jobs being lost to automated vehicles. Self-driving cars, they inspire dreams of traffic innovation and a spatial revolution. What kind of future will self-driving vehicles steer us to?